In this video today, I want to show you how we can set up the grade sync from Canvas into Skyward so that your grades will sync automatically uh, when you choose to sync them into your Skyward gradebook from Canvas. There is some setup that's required inside of Canvas to make sure you have it set up correctly so that way it can communicate. And before we jump in, I did want to direct your attention to this website we have here for our remote instructional staff. This website here uh, provides a lot of different guides, and I'm looking here under technology, we're going to go to the Canvas resources and training. And here you'll see a lot of different guides for different things you might want to do inside of Canvas, um, just some different resources and tips. And if you scroll down a little bit, um, the things that we're going to discuss today are covered here on these handouts about Canvas to Skyward Grade Passback. And so anything that I talk about here, there are guides for that, um, but I wanted to demonstrate it a little bit so you could see it in action and maybe make any uh, modifications you may need. All right, to start off, I'm going to go into what is my sandbox course. So you might want to do this in sandbox just to try it out first. Um, but you would need to do this for any of the courses that you plan to sync grades from and into Skyward. So first, I'm going to select assignments here. And by selecting assignments, I can see the different groups that I have. Um, there are two main groups that you should have, which is your daily work and then the tests group. And so when you set up the different groups, um, you, you set what that percentage, what the weight is, and those percentages are based on the Rockwell ISD grading guidelines. Uh, and so to make sure you set yours up correctly, be sure you refer to the grading guidelines so that way your percentages match correctly. When I go into my Canvas course here, I can see that from assignments, I can see the different groups that I have. I have DW, which is the daily work, and tests. Those are the two categories that are inside of Skyward uh, for secondary campuses. And so I need to have those two groups. If I have these other groups, that's OK. Just know that these other groups aren't going to sync successfully into Skyward. Um, the headings need to match. So if you're having a problem syncing those grades currently, go in and make sure that the, the assignment groups that you've created um, have this name. Over here on the right hand side, if you're successfully syncing it um, or to choose to sync it, you click the check mark here. You can see from this check mark here that this has been turned on to sync to the SIS. SIS is Student Information System, so we mean sync it to Skyward. Here, uh, this one's not set on. So when I click that button, it's going to tell me, oh, you can't sync this because I need to have a due date on my assignment. What I would then do is select those three dots and edit that specific assignment and give it a due date. That has to be set in order for it to sync into Skyward. All right, down here I have these other categories. However, if I try to sync these into Skyward, it's not going to work because the heading here doesn't match what's inside of Skyward. Um, so if I want to edit, if I have all of my assignments, my daily work assignments here, but I don't have the right title, I can come up to here to the the top of this group, select those three dots and choose to edit it. And now I'm going to change it from imported assignments. This is going to be my daily work category. And I've looked at the grading guidelines and I know that daily work counts for 50% of the grade. And then I click save. By changing that category, everything will now be inside of the daily grades that are syncing into Canvas. It's easy to edit those. However, if you have a lot of different categories and you really want them all inside of one, one of the things you can do is come up to the, the category itself, like quizzes and daily work. Um, here, I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to come to these three dots here and say, I want to delete this group. And it's going to say, what about the assignments? Do I want to delete the assignments too? Or do I want to move these assignments? And now I can select, you know what? I want to move these into the daily work group that I that's at the top. Um, so when I delete this old group, now all of those assignments have been moved into the daily work. And now I can turn these on to successfully sync into Skyward. I have to have them published, and I have to have the sync enabled for that to work. Um, so you need DW here and tests here. If you have other groups and you don't plan to sync those activities, those assignments, into Skyward, then you can call these whatever you want. But for grade passback to work, you need to have a category of daily work and a category of tests. You set those percentages inside of your Canvas course. Be sure you check the grading guidelines to ensure that the grade weights and the percentages match what is in Skyward uh, for those to sync. So for example, if I come down to middle school grading, I see that my tests are 50%, but 
my quizzes and daily work are 50 percent these are the two categories I must have inside of Canvas and I need to have the grade weight set correctly in order for Canvas grades to sync to Skyward. There are different percentages depending on high school credit courses, um, pre-AP, so be sure to, to evaluate that information on the grading guidelines. If I decide I only want to have two categories and I don't want these others, as long as there's nothing in them, I can click the three dots and say delete this category, I don't need it. But here, like we did earlier, I want this one, I want these assignments to be moved into tests. And now I've moved those assignments without having to go through each one and changing their group. But the key for syncing the grades from the Canvas gradebook into the Skyward gradebook is that the assignment categories match what's in Skyward and that the grade weights match what's in Skyward. If you have any questions, your instructional technology specialist would love to help you with this. Um, you can also contact the technology help desk to get support there.